Welcome back to Ask Arna. The labyrinth is a wonderful tool or metaphor for life's journey. Find out how walking along a labyrinth tells you more about yourself. A deeper answer, in my opinion, is that this was an already very sacred spot in uh, the landscape in the island of Maui and we were the fortunate ones to land here and I didn't want to keep it to ourselves because it's so beautiful and so magnificent that we ended up opening it up to the public. So the secret method of the labyrinth is that its language is metaphor. So whatever you experience as you walk in the labyrinth is symbolic or metaphoric of what you need to see in yourself off the labyrinth. So there's a number of ways to walk it. One, you can walk it like a path of peace and prayer and contemplation, the way you would do any kind of walking meditation. But I like to, do, to use it in addition or instead or in addition to as a path of self-discovery. And you're not walking the labyrinth to learn about the labyrinth, you're walking the labyrinth to learn about you. And so as you walk it, if you're self-observant and you notice what you notice, you'll see that what you do on the labyrinth is also what you do off the labyrinth, but this gives you a confined space in which to practice doing it differently. So if you're impatient on the labyrinth, it gives you a place to see what happens when you let go of your impatience. Or if you're judgmental on the labyrinth, like why is that person walking it that way or what's that brick doing out of place you're probably judgmental off the labyrinth and if you're full of self-doubt am I doing this right am I going too fast you're probably full of self-doubt off the labyrinth as well so it gives you an opportunity to see what you do and then make decisions as to whether it's really serving you or not and ultimately brings you into a place of being present connected to your authenticity and able to access the resources within you for managing all the things around you so for me, the labyrinth is a perfect metaphor for reminding us that we need to bring ourselves back into the center. And I call ask, accessing our soul so that we can access solutions to all that goes on around us. And Einstein said, you can't solve problems from the same kind of thinking that created them. So when we create problems from the drama of the ego mind, and then we try to solve problems from that same kind of thinking, we get spun out and we lose our way. And if we simply stop and drop in and find our centers, find our authentic selves and connect to that soul aspect, we then see uh, a complete different perspective on what's going on around us and we bring forth different tools and skills for managing all of that. It's the different mindset that Einstein was talking about. And for me the labyrinth is a beautiful way to practice that, bringing ourselves uh, back into a balance, observing ourselves, noticing what we're doing, taking that deep breath, bringing ourselves back and continuing on in alignment with who we are and what we want to create. It's very beautiful, very peaceful and very powerful. Spend more time in the inner world garden of life, less in the outer world garden of strife. The outer world storm is there for you to bear, as the inner world calm is there for you to repair. Our inner world is a gift filled with constant light to repair from the outer world's constant fight. As we have our daily practice, it gives us the guidance of foresight so once again we can feel the delight. Remember the cycle of life is there to teach and not to hurt and not to preach, but from the inner world peace we emerge and experience the most important gift of all, outer world peace and living our true call. There is nothing more relaxing than a beautiful Hawaiian sunset. Actually, nature is a gift and it is surrounding us and it's actually there to help calm us down and bring a lot of beauty into our life. Well, today I'd love to share a seven minute Hawaiian sunset that I recently experienced on the island of Maui. I hope you enjoy.